what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be like the third or fourth or fifth time i've recorded this because something new keeps dropping but this is going to be a video about scream 7 and this unfortunate stuff going on with melissa barrera who is being onslaughted in the press right now because she has unfortunately been fired from Scream 7. Now, this started with One Take News and Word of Real, who I think also put it out before One Take News. I could be mistaken. But Melissa Barrera, according to One Take News, was quietly let go from Scream 7. Multiple sources confirmed to One Take News. Now, multiple reputable sources I want to add as a segue to what I'm going to discuss next have started chiming in. Her exit comes following controversial statements amid the Israel-Palestine crisis with one sources or with one source describing her comments as anti-semitic i can say that before that before the anti-semitic stuff was even put into these articles i was being told by people i trust who have connections to these outlets that yes that was going to be included and sure enough here it is Barrera was the star of the last two films, playing protagonist Sam Carpenter, the illegitimate child of Billy Loomis, who's a frequent target for Ghostface. She co-starred alongside her on-screen sister, Jenna Ortega, and was set to once again lead the seventh installment of the beloved slasher franchise. Scream 7 has been in development for quite some time, with Christopher Landon taking over from Radio Silence to direct. They are still on to produce, and it says, It's unknown if Sam Carpenter will be recast. Don't do that. Do not. Or written out at this time. News of Barrera's firing was first reported in today's print issue of Variety, which I was sent a screenshot of to get a look at to see how legitimate it was. And with the other outlets like The Hollywood Reporter, which I'm going to get into reporting on it, it's true. Melissa Barrera is no longer starring in Scream 7. The actor was dropped from the project after a series of social media posts in the wake of the Israel-Hamas war. Spyglass, the company behind the Scream franchise, had no comments. Barrera helped revitalize the franchise with Scream 2022 feature... And also, Barrera starred in Scream 6, which was released this past March. Happy Death Day filmmaker Christopher Landon is taking over to direct Scream 7 from the filmmaker's radio silence. And then they go on to talk about how Paramount handled distribution on the recent installments and is expected to return for the new installment. Now, I do want to say this. Melissa Barrera, first of all, did not deserve this. Melissa Barrera is not wrong in what she's doing on her social media. That's what she wants to do. That's what she wants to do. She's supporting who she wants to support. And that's fine. My issue, though, is I think it's time for Hollywood to really stop with all of this grandstanding that it does with these very serious topics. I think it's time to stop that. You exist to entertain us. That is what you exist for. Because now, see... I've been kind of slowly saying we're going to hit a tipping point where you're going to start seeing stars who don't deserve to be enduring stuff like this getting fired from projects over what they do and don't believe and when it doesn't align with the AMPTP and the studios. You know, you know, the fallout coming from the strike isn't helping either because this is also a lot of things that I could see playing out as punishment towards the people who were on strike for months and trying to get what they feel they were rightfully owed. It's all a complete mess. I'm very disappointed to hear that Melissa Barrera has been let go from the project. However, here's the thing. Are you going to also fire Jenna? What about Jasmine? What about the other talent? Here's the other thing. Will they even want to still participate? You know, this is going to be a very rocky scenario that un that un uh, unravels as it progresses because here's what I'm I'm seeing posted from viewer non. Hollywood reporter confirms Melissa Barrera has been dropped from Scream 7. I've also been told this is going to cause the script to be completely overhauled, essentially starting from scratch. <laughs> like this 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 is this is ridiculous. All of this is because of how involved Hollywood has gotten when it comes to these issues that have nothing to do with you producing quality content for film or producing quality content in the form of a TV show, something episodic for us to enjoy. This is our tipping point. And a lot of people, you know who you are, the ones that have been saying that Hollywood has been way too political right now. It's kind of hard to disagree with that crowd because what happens is these very serious things go on. And then what happens over here with Hollywood? It starts becoming another political tactic that they use. Now they're using this to terminate stars and talent. And it's like, okay, when when does it end? It ends when you guys stop entertaining this stuff. Hollywood collectively, get back to what you have always... And I'm not saying politics has, haven't always been in Hollywood. That's not what I'm saying. But it's aggressively more involved right now. When you have stuff like this going on. And I think I saw another report of a talent 
talent being dropped from a talent agency. I didn't see the name of the individual clearly, but somebody else had been reported as being dropped. And it's like, okay, we're going to see a lot of reports like this now, it seems. I hope that this doesn't lead to the whole project just being canceled. But I will say this. Those of you who saw my tweet I put out, some of you who DM me, you have very thorough conversations with me to get to know me. Did I not say that there is a there is a chance this would happen? You just have to pay attention to what's happening in these streets with Hollywood. This was always a likely thing. When you take into consideration the strike, take into consideration the war and all of the stuff that they are not happy with her about and where she stands with. This is why I was saying that this is a chance. This stuff here, it has to stop. Hollywood has to stop being this involved in things that don't directly deal with your films or your TV products or the things that, again, you are supposed to be entertaining us. You're not supposed to be doing all of this stuff. That's why at the end of the day, yes, it's just an issue between Hollywood and in this context, an issue between Spyglass, Paramount and Melissa Barrera. But this issue wouldn't exist if we took all of this stuff out. Stop making everything so political. Stop shunning people for things, especially again. I cannot stress this enough. Melissa did not deserve this. She did such a great job to me in Scream 5, even better in Scream 6. It's unfortunate she won't be part of Scream 7. How can they course correct though? Obviously they would dump everything they have at Nev Campbell. That's the obvious solution. However, why would Nev sign on? It's now going to be me having a struggle to think that she would even sign on after she's already had an issue with you. And also, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to keep it real. Nev herself, she seems like the type of person who's just like me and many others. She understands that the character of Sydney Prescott has a shelf life. There's a there's an ending point. So if you keep on giving her reasons not to return, and I hope this I hope this doesn't convince her not to return. I want I, I'm not saying I want to see her back, but I would love to see her return under her own satisfaction of a situation without all of these negatives in her mind, like what's happening with Melissa. If she doesn't return because of this, then then so be it. Ultimately, I cannot see this painting out well story wise if they have to rework it all. It could still end up being a very good film, but right now I have strong reservations for Scream 7. I'm starting to think maybe we'll get a completely crappy movie as a punishment for the strikes. And I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. I hope that's not what we get. And I hope that this overhaul still leads to something that's worthwhile at the end or at the finish line. But you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you have subscribe, turn on post notification, you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.